All right, everybody, this is the Miami Dolphins running back Miles Gaskin film study. You know what? I hope this ends up being the definitive film study because I put so much time and love into this tape, you know, and I have such huge respect for this kid. I was high on him going into 2019 offseason, did a video on it, wrote a bunch of articles uh, in Finn's News about Gaskin. You know, I really believed in this kid. But I was surprised at the growth uh, uh, he showed and the production he had. Now, some of you might say, what production? His stats were not stats. You know, stats, they mean something, but they lack context in it so often. And the kid's stats weren't that bad. But when you consider this kid had very little run blocking and how many running backs have been ground up over the years behind this poor Dolphins run blocking offensive line. You've got to be impressed. Now, when you add all that together and you watch this film and I have just about every snap of his uh, in chronological order from 2020, by the end of it, I think you're going to be a fan too. So let's roll it. And, uh, you know, what I want, first thing I want to do is show this kid's ability to pick up the extra yards in close areas. And um, he'll do it through, you know, acceleration, agility, speed, sometimes physicality. But he's always falling forward to picking up those extra yards. And the second thing is his pass blocking, which improved. It, his PFF grade doubled from 2019, 2020. He was one of the top 10 pass blockers. Now look at this kid, he's always falling forward. I mean, I can a handful of times this kid was stopped dead in his tractor for a loss. And again, you see there's another part of his pass block he added, the chip. Before he went out last year, in 2019, he would just go out. He would just go out into his patterns and he wouldn't even chip. And that really doesn't help the tackle. And it, it, it allows the, the rusher to not have any fear. But when you start chipping, it, it blends you in to the blocking, which opens you up to get into your route. But it also puts something extra on the edge rusher's mind. This is a very critical thing. And if you look back, he very rarely did. I had written or did a video on wanting to see him chip. And... Um, his chipping is very consistent. Need a little more physicality, but it was a very crucial part to his pass blocking. But this is his first big play. You know, the Dolphins weren't doing anything. And this kid just shows the ability to bounce whole gaps, sometimes two gaps down the line and pick up yards. And he is a playmaker. You know, he's not a, a home run threat, but he's a chunk player. Look, as you give him a little space, and this kid's always breaking tackles, arm tackles, regular tackles, spinning forward. He's always just picking those extra yards up. And he's only 194. Kid's got a ton of heart. Here we go, the chip again. Look at that. That, that means a lot, man. That means a lot. That helps the tackle out so much. You see the, the continuation of the chip. Uh, and as a pass receiver, you know, he goes out in five wide so much, and he's a legitimate threat. Look at that catch. Kid's got good hands. I think he had two or three drops, and one of them I wouldn't even consider a drop. But you see this kid, look, I mean, he's just always fighting. He's 194. Watch this one. This one's great, man. This kid just doesn't quit. He wants to run. He's got the heart of a lion and the heart of a real running back. Now watch him go down the line, find his guy, and boom. I mean, that's not going to save that pass. Oh, that we, huh, we can go on this one. I could do a whole video on how Miami Dolphins were held and passed in the field and the refs never called. But we're not going to talk about that today. Just stick with Miles Gaskin. But that's, some, that's a theme. That's a theme year in and year out. But last year was extra sauce on that theme. So, uh, again, Gaskin's pass blocking is critical. You could be the best runner in the world, but you can't pass block and you're not going to make it. Now, look at this. That gets the pass off that little extra help. Now, again, fighting forward for those yards. He doesn't go down easy. Great screenplay. How long has it been since we've had good screens? This kid comes in and we have good screenplays. Look at this. Look at that, man. That's one broken tackle. See a guy slam his hand down. Look at this kid, man. He's just very, I mean, he's got like a little drop of Barry in him with his ability to, to, to run low. 
uh, you know, this, oh, that's beautiful. That's sexy right there. <laughs> that is, let's look at that. Look, I'm going to look at that again. That is sexy. Oh, we're going to go see that again. Look at this. Bang. Oh, that guy's going to, that guy's thinking twice next time. That is so nice. Now, he does run into problems because he likes to go low. I think for him to take that next level in pass blocking, he's got to start using hip drive and hand drive more. He tends to shield and cut. I think I want to see him growing at it. If he can add that little bit extra, he might actually go on top five in pass protection. Chip, look at that. Jesse does misses the spin on that one. That's that wasn't that was a nice move though. That was one of his few drops, and that was that was a bad one. That was his ugliest of the year. But again, the kid runs, give him a little space. And I think this is why uh, Flores brought in, brought in two huge guards. I think Hunt's going to move to right guard. And he's just an excellent run block. And Fluka is going to probably play left. And they both can run block. Because, you know, despite being small, Gaskin excels between the tackles. And for this speed offense that we've created, this ability to um, get out wide, create space, it's going to put a lot of heat on teams that are going to try to clog up the inside for Gaskin. And if they don't, this kid's going to make plays. This, his ability to cut back against the green, fight off tackles, he picked up four or five yards there. Look at this. That is something we haven't seen. Mark Walton was one of the best runners. For this. this is a nice pass block. Gets that ball off. That's a big deal for quarterbacks. But Mark Walton was the best runner we've seen in a while. Look at this kid, man. And he's a, he's a similar sty style of player. Not, as, not nearly as much heart, but a little more speed. Look at this. Nice. But he doesn't drive with the hips on. Let's go look at that one again. Again, let's see. He's, he's stopping. And he's allowing the defender to hit him with full inertia. You got to break the inertia with hand drive and hip drive. He like hugs him there. So he's a lot better. And again, he's, he was top 10 in the league. So, you know, it's not like he's terrible, but he's got to start delivering the blows a little bit more. But still a quality player. But, you know, this kid can get even better. Hands, 47 pass receptions on the season, which is really good. Reliable. And, you know, that's the thing. He's, he's a triple threat. He can block, he can run, and he can catch. Critical. And this kid's always, he was trying to get out of bounds it was towards the end of the game. Uh, but this kid, man, he turns it up, he cuts it backfield, he plays physical, constantly breaking tackles. Look at that. 194 pounds. Uh, he has a, some good pass block. I like that. He's re his read reading of the pass block has improved. Now he's just got a little better on the technique. You see, he's just always able to like bounce to the left, bounce to the right. He's got great agility, burst, drive. That was for the first. You know, I mean, ask yourself, could any other backs get more out of this than that? I mean, they're stacked. Where's, where's the blocking? So a lot of this kid's stats are reduced by poor blocking. You know, hands, quality hands, most complete back we've seen in a long time. Kenny Drake was pretty good, but he had more speed. Look at this, watch this, cuts right a bang. That was an extra three or four yards there. Sweet, good catch, held on to the ball. Could anybody do better than him on that play? I mean, look at this. That was a nice little bounce to the outside. Where there's no blocking. I don't care who you are. Najee Harris, Javante Williams. This kid's always falling forward, man. He's fierce. But who's no one's getting through that stuff. I don't care who you are. So, but this kid did a lot with so little. I mean, this, you know, you look at the stats from the, the Jags game, it's like, ah, it's not so hot. But look at all these running plays that were just dead on, con dead on arrival. <laughs> dead on arrival. Kills your stats. But watch, give him a little space. Give him a little space and he's a chunk play. I mean, he's not taking it to the house. He lacks that third and fourth gear. But he's got a, okay, first gear. That second gear, though, is kind of almost special. 
you know, fights, just doesn't quit. Look at all these guys. Where's the blocking? So, you know, but again, look at him. He grabbed the head. Look at him. Truck that dude. Picked extra two on that one. Love it. See, here's the, here's the issue with his pass protection. Now, again, he's a quality pass protector. His reads is what improved the most. But his, his tendency to try to cut jumps right over it. They know when they, when they see on tape that you're a cutter, this is what they do. This was enough to chip him off, but what if that read wasn't there and he had to come back and he got a face full of, he's tough, look at that, that's a nice play. Got up, bounced up from it, moved on. But yeah, he's got he's to lay off the cutting a little bit. Look at this. Now you're like, ah, oh, it's not that big a deal, but watch. Most guys would have stepped out and been dead on, he splits them and picks that three yards up which totally changes it from, you know, uh, three yards to go to inches. Hands cut back against the green. That was a nice run. These are all nice runs, man. Look at this. Bang! Trucks that dude. 194. How many trucks do you see this guy get? Not stop dead, man. He's got that spin. He's, he's got good agility, great balance. This kid is, is a good, look at that. Nice pass block. Didn't deliver hard enough, but enough. You know, if he could just deliver it, he just work on his strength a little bit, his delivery, look at this. Bang, look at that. Falls forward, another four yards. Inside run, cuts it up. See, that's his only problem too. If you look at his, two th if you look at his 2019 season, we got that knee injury. It was the same thing. Somebody grabs him from behind because he's so small. They yoke him up and that knee gets caught up. And I think that's the one fear I got from him. He runs so tough, but he's small. And if if you get wrapped up like that and your knees can get ripped. So I'm a little concerned for the kid for that. But that's one of the few weaknesses I see. Look at this, man. Bang. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, this is this is a good run. I mean, who's gonna get away from that? Nobody. Bad blocking again. Terrible, terrible blocking. Poor play call situational blocking. Now look at this nice quality. You see, he's not he doesn't deliver the blow again. He reads it right, sets it up, but he's just waiting on a guy. He's got to deliver the blow, and that's gonna help him out. You know, just deliver it. He's too small to wait. He's got no, he's, he's got no lead in the pants, man. But uh, look at this, man. Fights, fights, fights. Look at this, dead. It's like a little Barry play. Everyone stops moving. He shows up. Like a mini, little mini Barry in there. Nice. Look at this, man. Falls forward. Now a yard or two, at least. Yard and a half. Great at the screens. Great at the receptions. I think this kid's going to have an excellent season this year. That was just good. That was good block. That was nothing special. How do you go anywhere with that? Look at this. Just see your red. Look, this guy's got him dead to rights, but still fights forward and picks up three. Should have been dead three yards back. And look at this, but doesn't quit. Fell forward for another yard and a half. Look at that. That was sweet. That was sweet. That, uh, that's a that's a receive, man. That's a receive. Watch this. Bang. That's a receive. Look at this one. Ooh. <laughs> That's a good running back, guys. That's a good running back. If it wasn't for his injuries, pass blocking again. Look at that. That was a swap right there he followed through on. That was nice. Excellent. That's a that's not an easy catch. That's not an easy catch. And this this kid has a I think his route tree is gonna grow, tell you the truth. I think you're gonna see him do see more in a passing game as far as route tree. Nice little catch. Not easy. Picked up eight or nine on that one. Good pass block. That, you know, Grant dropped the ball. You know, you've seen his kids providing, you know, this is a nice play. Watch this. T gets it to the edge. Just enough acceleration for us down. We're close to it. Look at that. That second gear, man. That second gear is almost special. They give him the first. I can't remember. Inside runs. I mean, this kid's fierce. Look, he knows when to just, you know, take what you can take. Bang. Five yards, four yards. Look at that. 
Face mask, forget about it. Picked up an extra three after contact. Look at this, here we go. See, he's not taking it to the house, but you got big play guys, man. You draft the receivers. Look at this. Look at that. You draft the receivers for that, man. This kid's going to just keep the ball. Look at that. Nice. Dead, and he picked up the extra two. Here we go. Bang. See, like the first play we saw, that little skip. A little stutter step. Kid has some special in him, Finns fans. I'm telling you. Now, this is the one... One of the few plays that I could I could say that he got a little cutesy. This is a third or second and one. And he should have just put it right up in there. Instead, he tries to get cute and do his bounce thing. I mean, this is one of the few plays where I was like, eh, you know, he didn't he didn't really attack. It. Just and then it gets killed. But it's one of the few times, man. You know, but look at this, this pass blocking. Look at that pass block. No pass blocking. Again, he's able to weave. He's a picker. He picks through the lines, man. He weaves through traffic. When you got a, not in a great offensive, look at that nice catch. When you don't got a great offensive line, that's why I like the power backs. People want the power backs to be the feature back here for this. Look at that. Nice. Look at that. I missed and made a missing old tackle. I was actually six on that one. Power backs just won't work for this offensive line at this stage. Look at that. Just good, good player, man. Quality receiver. Man, just he's always getting hit and he's picking up that extra yards. At this point, you man, you gotta feel something special for this guy. Look at that. Face mask too. I don't know how many times he was face masked. Really good screenplay, but he, you know, he didn't have the speed to take it to the outside of that one, but still. And, you know, yeah, like this is the one where you want to bring like dokes in. You know, you get the power back for like situational runs. This is where I think, you know, he's not being utilized properly, but you can see plenty of short down and red zone situations where the offensive line blocks, <laughs> you know, and he picks up good yardage and so, you know, he'll get the score. But, you know, the bigger body might be able to eke out a little bit more out of this, but I don't think it's crucial. You see, like, you know, there's nothing you can do on that. Pass blocking, watch this and stain. Nice job. Good receiver. Look at that. All those extra two or three yards, like ah, it's only two or three yards. See, that's the one where he, that's the one where I think he's going to get hurt. See, that's the, this is the one where I think he's going to get hurt. Watch, now this guy is outweighing him by like forty something pounds, and he gets him, and that that's how he got injured in two thousand nineteen. I think he got actually injured in that one because he was injured after this. But you know, again, he's still getting in there. Doesn't have the power, you know, that's just one complaint, but look at this. Finds the sliver, finds the crease, and counters, man. We didn't haven't seen counters, counter runs, design counter runs in Miami since forever. I love those things, man. It really puts a lot of heavy weight on the defense to the pay the null face mask. Look at that. What, what are you gonna do with that? Oh, look at that. See that? That was actually four yards. Most backs would be dead on arrival at that point. Look at this. These are all good runs with poor, poor, look at that. With poor run blocking. What happens if you get some good run blocking with this kid? Now look at that. He ain't going nowhere. Nobody's going anywhere with that. You notice he knows he brings it back. Pinball wizard. That's what it is. Gaskin the pinball wizard, man. Look at this. Just doesn't fight. Look, look, he's not going down. Look at that. Sweet. Sweet, sweet run. He's got just about everything. If he only had 10 pounds, man, this kid would be a superstar. A little bit extra speed to him, maybe, but look at this. Oh, look at that. He doesn't have, like, you know, he tries to do a little Barry day, but he doesn't have Barry's power and explosion. He doesn't have the, you know, jump cut, the one legged jump cut. But look at that catch. That was an excellent catch. Look at this. 
kids for seventh round. What a steal. To me, he's the best back mom he's drafted in a long time. You know, I think he's going to prove it this year. I think he's going to prove it this year. He's got it all. Just get, get, you know, like, I, I like the whole, I like Dokes. And Ahmed, too. Look at this. Look at that. All those extra two or three yards, man, they come up. They add up by the end of the game. By the end of the season. Oh, you ain't going nowhere on that one, buddy. Nobody is. Look, he's just, yeah, that gives that little jump at the end of power jump. This lid is beautiful. Look at that. Two, two and a half broken tackles for the touchdown. 194. Kid fights like an animal. Love him. I don't know if he can stay healthy. That's the that's the main thing, health. They see that's the pull from behind. Look at, look at that. Nice little pass block. They look, he delivered a little bit. He's fighting. I like that. Didn't, Fitzpatrick wasn't saved at that point. Look at this. Pinball wizard. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That was sweet to spin. There's no blocking on that one. Look at that. Picked up an extra three on that after contact. Oh, here is a big play. Look at this one. That was some nice blocking by the tight ends. But still, still, how'd they take it there? Look at this. Kaseki sets the first one up. You can see who that was in that one. Kids got talent. Hope he puts like an extra couple pounds on, maybe. And this was like the final, you know, the Buffalo game where he really wasn't utilized too much. Picked up, I think, five yards in the first each each of his first two runs. Quality screen. It was like second and fifteen. Now look at this one. Austin Jackson missing a block as usual. Kid's gonna get better. Don't get me wrong, but. <laughs> How many backs would be just drilled in the end zone? Bang, look at that. Managed to get out. That was a very nice run. Didn't look good in the stat sheet, though. Blocking wasn't so hot. But, you know, Gaskin provided some of the biggest plays of the day. See here, consistency in his pass blocking all the way into week 17. Delivers a little bit there. Still nice. I like this at the end. This is like one of the first plays we saw, the very first play. It's a little stutter step to pick up the extra two or three. Not where you know what's going anywhere with that. Now, he is, he, I remember so many people, ah, Gaskin can't catch. I mean, you've seen all these plays. This kid can catch. I mean, first off, two would just ran from the pocket when it was no pressure. Now, you can't blame Tua for this pass because he's thrown across his body. It's amazing he even got it to this position. But he's a running back. Gaskin's a running back. Anytime you got to leave your feet like that to catch a football and you're a running back, yeah, hit your hands. You got to catch it. But let's be realistic. I mean, you know, look, no pressure. Everyone's like, no one helps Tua. Tua shouldn't have ran out of there, but that's an amazing th Look at that. That is a very difficult catch. Very difficult for a running back. But, you know, again, takes it inside. That was all run blocking, finally. Pass blocking, like this. Bang! He likes the low. He likes the cut. Sometimes it works. So, there we got it. That's the Miles Gaskin 2020 campaign. I left out two games. Um, one, he was injured in the Jets game. He missed the game. He came back. And it was a terrible game. Uh, and then he was out again for like one or two games because the knee wasn't right. So he wasn't right in that game. So I dismissed it. But then he came back after two weeks and he had a good game. But I figured if I'm going to cut the poor game out because of the knee. I'm also going to cut out the better game because of the knee because it was against the Bengals. And, you know, that's not really a fair judgment. So I took those two games out and he took a couple weeks off of the knee. 
came back against the Raiders and then the, the Bills. All right, so aside from those two games, it was pretty much every snap from his 2020 season. Now, he only played half the season because of the knee injury, and I think that's concerning. You know, he had a knee injury, big knee injury late in 2019. Again, a nagging injury, knee injury in 2020. And I know that's a limiting factor, but the kid played half the season, had almost 1,000 combined yards. And when you look at the plays and you realize how little run blocking he had, and you see that, you know, time and time again, he's making defenders miss. He's either making a miss to his acceleration, his agility, his ability to cut back, um, you know, his broken tackles, his fighting through to pick up the extra couple of yards. And then you add in how good his pass protection went from 2019 to 2020 and what it could actually become this year. And then you add in his ability to, to to catch the football and to make plays in the passing game. All that combined, this kid could end up being something special. Now, I don't think he's a feature back. I really, you know, like I said, I wanted Javante Williams to help split time. But I like uh, Salvin Ahmed. I think he's a very good, if his pass blocking can improve like Gaskins did, this is going to be a nice little pairing in Dokes. I like Dokes too. I think Dokes is very underrated too. A lot of good backs actually fall to the back end of the draft because they're just not highly rated. But the thing is with running backs, they can come in in year one and they can uh, contribute because it's an instinctual position with minimalistic uh, cerebral aspects. And so Dokes, you know, he's a pretty good pass protector. He's big. He's going to come in situationally. So I really don't have much concern for the Dolphins running game. I mean, if Gaskin can stay healthy, that's the key. But this kid's talented. Let's just stop saying we don't have talent. We've got it. We might, you know, we might need him to stay healthy and we need all the players around him to step up. But I'm a big fan of Miles Gaskin. And I hope after this film study, you are too.